the other thing that I would say that comes typically last for most people, and it's the thing that is the reason why we're all here, it's the reason why I created this group because I really wish that more of us, including myself, would find it and would get into this phase first because it would make the other phases a heck of a lot easier. And that's loving where you are right now. For most of us, that part comes way too late in the game. It comes at a point where we've done everything else and we've, we've established the habits that are going to turn into results, but the results haven't come yet. And while we're waiting, we're just kind of like, you know, we're getting antsy. And that's when we start having to really deal with that. We start really having to uncover that blind spot and realize like this whole time I thought I would get to my goal and my life would change. And I need to change my life right now. Those are just some of the things that I would say for you guys is to, when I say to be prepared, to have your eyes open, be prepared for those blind spots to be uncovered, be prepared to be able to repot yourself when it's time to grow. Those are just a few of the examples. Now, obviously there's many more. There's, there's little things that pop up in all of our journeys that we suddenly, our eyes are open to something like, I really need to deal with that. Like sometimes it's, it's internal things. We, we start out thinking that it's all about the external and we go chasing after that. And somewhere along the way, we have to start really getting into this, this internal thing that we're dealing with. And we have to start really solving these things that we've taken with us to every weight and back. And because of the fact that we've taken them to every weight and back, we finally, our eyes are open. The blind spots are uncovered and we realize, I, I thought back then that when I got to a certain size, I'd be happier. And now I'm looking back at that size and thinking, that really wasn't that bad. And we start to really see that. We start to really understand. We look back at old pictures of ourselves when we thought we were too fat, but we're looking at it now and we're like, was it real? I looked kind of good then, you know? And, and when you start really seeing that, when you start really noticing that there was those times in your life that you were already miserable, the, the misery and the dread over wearing certain things or doing certain things or looking a certain way or being around certain people or fitting certain clothes, like that never left you. It went from one size to the other. And we still tell ourselves that, okay, a, another size, we'll fix that. And it won't because who you are follows you everywhere you go. And so that is a blind spot that I hope, I hope that that's being uncovered for you guys right now. I hope that that's why we're all here. That is one of the biggest things that I've had to deal with in my journey. And even thinking that I had fully conquered it, I had to deal. I was faced with that again two years ago when I got injured and had a nervous breakdown and stress myself up another, you know, 15 pounds, 20 pounds. And I had to deal with that again and decide, okay, am I really about what I preach or do I feel like I need to get there before I can be happy again? And that is something that you may continue to fight forever. That the blind spots within there, because there's sometimes there's blind spots within blind spots. <laughs> the blind spots that are within there will keep those, those doors will keep opening and you're like, oh my gosh, okay, I need to deal with this and I need to deal with this and I need to deal with this. So it ends up going so much deeper than weight loss and fat loss, but that doesn't mean that you're not still going to lose fat. That doesn't mean that you're not still going to get that transformation. It just means that at some point you have to actually deal with what you're seeking and what you're seeking 98% of the time has nothing to do with how you look. It has to do with how you want to feel when you get to the place in your head of how you want to look. And understanding that you need to find that feeling now is that's, that's where the win is. That's when you defeat that stage and the rest just come. You look up and you're like, whoa. You know, my husband was looking at my legs and telling me how good they're looking. And I looked over and I'm like, he's right. I got nice legs. And you have those moments where you walk past the mirror and you're like, oh, I am not looking too bad. But that's because you had already decided that in your head. And you kind of look up and the rest is just like, whoa, when did that part happen? 
because you worked on the important stuff first. And that's what we encourage you to do on this journey is to really work on the important stuff, really get down to what you're actually dealing with because the other stuff is going to come. But your body cannot go where your mind is not willing to go. And when we're expecting it to be over with quickly and when we're constantly looking for like, okay, and when's that over? And when's that over? And then when's this? And when's that? That's, we don't even realize it, but that's the diet mentality. The diet mentality is obsessed with time frames. It's obsessed with like, okay, I need to know exactly how long do I need to do this in order for that to happen? When in reality, that, that part doesn't matter. It's just that we want so much to be in control, which that's that's the internal struggle. <laughs> we want to have control over something, which typically means that we feel out of control somewhere else. Make sure you let me know, post, tell me what stage you're in, what blind spots have been uncovered for you along the way. And take note of some of the ones that I said, because like I said, you they may not be your blind spot yet, but stay involved in this community and when one of those is uncovered for you. I want you guys to post about it and be like, oh my gosh, I think I just hit that one. But at the same time, I want you to call yourself on if you're trying to uncover something that's not ready to be uncovered yet. <laughs> if you're trying to like, oh, what, can, what can I do next? And what can I do next? And what can I do next? If you're trying the what can I do next thing because you're trying to speed things up, that's diet mentality. So make sure that you're calling yourself out if that's the case. If you're saying, you know, okay, yep, got it, what next? Okay, and then what? And what next? You probably need to slow your roll, stay right where you are in that phase and dive into it, like kill it, master it. Because remember, it's just like math. When you try to move on and you haven't gotten that down, you're not helping yourself. It doesn't matter if you seem like you moved forward because you didn't really.